Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. Today, I'm making the nicest cookies you've ever seen. Stick around and find out how I do it. Hey guys, welcome back to the sawmill. It is a beautiful morning here at the shop, but it is supposed to rain in a little bit, so we're gonna knock out a quick little project for you guys today. Today, we're gonna be cutting cookies, also known as wood slices. These are great for party decorations like at weddings or DIY projects, and we sell these all the time here at the shop. People actually come to the shop specifically looking for these, so we know we need to make more. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. If you look behind me, I'll show you how we make them. So we have this attachment here. It's a platform that's bolted down to the sawmill. It's called the cookie miser. This is great because it will lock down your log on the sawmill so you can make slices of wood. We use a drill with a socket to adjust the clamps to make it tighter or looser depending on how big in diameter your log is. So I'll, kind of, I'll show you how it's done. We take our log, we put it in like this. We take our drill and our socket and we tighten down the clamps. And now our log is sturdy. So now that you know how it works, I'm gonna go grab the tractor and grab a specialty log and we'll put it up here. She's sturdy. This is a monkey pod log that I have up here. You've seen us cut these logs several times here at the sawmill. They're really cool because they have the really light sapwood and the really dark heartwood. So I think they're gonna make some really nice cookies. Most of the cookies we cut here at the shop are one inch. So I'm gonna use our AccuSet and set it to one inch and they're gonna cut exactly one inch cookies all the way down the log.
All right, as you can see, we made a couple cookies. Let's take them off and see what they look like. That's our first top cut, but here we go. Ooh, those are nice. This is what I was talking about, that light sapwood and that dark heartwood. Make these really beautiful cookies. Those are nice. We just got four nice cookies out of that. First couple cuts. Excellent, those will be great as, like I was saying before, wedding decor. People love to use them as a centerpieces, put some candles on them, put a little flower vase, or you can even make like a, a cupcake tier, different sizes. You can bolt them together and make little tiers like that. So many options and possibilities with these cookies. All right, let's finish this off. All right, we made a handful more cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six more we just made. That fast. Put them down on there to dry. These are nice. Really cool looking too. And the cool thing about cookies is that you can keep them rustic or you can polish them up a little bit, sand them down, put some epoxy on them. You can really do whatever you want with them, which makes them really cool, really cool projects. For this last piece, we usually keep it a little bit thicker. As you can see, this white piece right here, this is a safety. It tells you not to go below this depth or you're gonna hit the clamps. So we like to keep a little bit above that um, and we like to use these as bowl blanks. So I'm gonna pull this one off. This would be about four inches, or in Trey's world, maybe eight inches. But I'm gonna set this aside to use as a bowl blank later, and I'm gonna cut a piece, another piece and throw it up here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this log as well. I'm gonna cut it into one inch cookies.
All right, we just finished that log as well. We'll pull these off our cookie miser. Look at those. Lay them on our rack here. Nice. They kind of look like eyeballs, so it gives them a funky look. Here's some more. Twenty. We got twenty out of them, and again, this piece that's still on the cookie miser will save for uh, a bowl blank, or use it for some other project. But we won't we won't finish that off. So we have 20 cookies that can be used as projects, signs, trays, decor, anything that you like. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. Let me know in the comment section below what you would do with these cookies. Would you use them as party or wedding decor or maybe make some cool DIY crafts or some signs? I wanna hear from you. So make sure you drop that comment in the comment section below this video. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you in the next one.